Good day, beautiful and handsome children of God. Welcome to Children's Church Online. Finally, it's the last Saturday of September, which means a few months before Christmas. Wait, wait, not so fast. I know you're starting to think about food and gifts. But before we move forward to that, let's take a look back and remember the lessons we've learned in the month of September. How does that sound? Exciting! All right, let's pray. Our loving God, thank you for your faithfulness in our life. We celebrate your goodness. Lord, help us remember what you taught us so we will continue to live in the truth of your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Come on now, let's open up the book. Come on now, and take a good long look. It's about you, it's about me, it's about the truth that sets us free. It's about L-O-V-E, love from the Father up above. It's about hope, it's about life, it's about the love of Jesus Christ. It's about everlasting, never failing love. Come on now. You know the answer, you get your pillow and you put it on your head. 
That's right, it's so simple and super fun. So are we ready for our first question, champs? Let's go to lesson number one. All right, so for our first lesson, we learned about kindness. And it was about the Jewish man who was left and beaten on the side of the road. But a good Samaritan man showed him kindness and helped him get better. All right, now for our question. Get those pillows ready. Question number one. If you see Mama, Papa, or Ate and Kuya cleaning after you, what should you do to show kindness? Is it A, watch TV, B, ask for snacks, or C, help them clean? All right, pillows up, pillows up, let's hear them. Let's see the comment section. All right, I see the correct answer. That's right, champs, it's letter C. We help clean. Showing kindness means to think of others above ourselves, just like how the Samaritan man helped the Jew. We show kindness when we help other people. How about we show some kindness today, huh, champs? Is that a yes or a yes? Definitely a yes. All right, to our second lesson. All right, now for lesson number two, we learn about the most beautiful thing in this world, which is love. And the best representation of love is how God sent his only son, Jesus, to die on the cross for our sins. That's how much God loves us, champs. This brings us to our question number two. And our question is, get those pillows ready, champs. Don't put them on your head yet. Okay, so if someone takes your toys away from you, how can you respond in love? Is it A, we quarrel them? Or is it B, we let them borrow and share? Or is it C? We take the toy back. Okay, pillows up. Oh, oops, I forgot my pillow. All right, very good, champs. Now let's check the comment section. Let's hear those answers. I hear the right answers. That's right, it's letter B. We let them borrow or we share our toys. But teacher Denise, it's unfair because it's my toy. Well, champs, just like how it's unfair for Jesus to die on the cross for our sins, he did it because he loves us. And to show love means to go beyond how we feel to do what's right. Can I get a high five, champs? Great. To our final lesson. <gasps> we made a chance to lesson number three which we learned was about having an abundant life. Now we all know that an abundant life is a gift from God. All the blessings that God gives us are meant to be shared with others. That brings us to our question number three. Our last question is, if you had a big box of delicious chocolates, ooh, I love chocolates, what should we do with it? Is it A, we share with everyone? Or B, we hide it from everyone? Or C, we eat it by ourselves? All right, pillows up. Let's see those pillows, everybody. Okay, comment section. All right. So I see the right answer, you guys. It's a, we share our chocolates with everybody. Like we learned, champs, having an abundant life is a gift from God, just like having an abundance of delicious chocolates. When you are given something wonderful, don't you just want to share it with everybody? Yes, just like the love of Jesus. Jesus loves us so much that we just have to tell everyone. Look to your left. Look to your right. Tell those people that Jesus loves them. All right, champs, on the count of three, 
I want you to shout, Jesus loves you. One, two, three. Jesus loves you. Woo, amazing. Ooh, I guess that's all the lessons we learned for this splendid month of September. I hope you all apply the lessons we learned this month and we'll see you next week. Now for our memory verse. City Champs, are you all ready for our memory verse? Our memory verse is from Matthew chapter 22 verse 39 and it says, and the second command is like the first, love your neighbor as you love yourself. Very good, let's do it again. Matthew chapter 22 verse 39. It says, and the second command is like the first. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. Excellent! And now, it's time for our wrap up. How about you? What have you learned? That's awesome! Hmm. Let's continue to be kind and loving, just like our Father. Join me now, children, as we close in prayer. Dearest Father, we're sorry for the times we are not kind to others. We're sorry when we forget what you taught us. Lord, continue to mold our hearts so that we will be able to love others the way you do. This we pray in your name, Jesus. Amen. Woohoo! And that's a wrap. Children, thank you for joining us every Saturday. I hope to see you all again next week, okay? Bye for now!